Um, purple busy. I am so proud of my Utazi. So earlier on, I think um, this was about three weeks ago, this Utazi wasn't looking this good. He had some affects and then after treating it, it took a while to bounce back. And then I think I noticed later that the aphid had come back so i just decided to leave it this was what i did last year i it had aphids all over it and then i kept procrastinating i was going to treat it then i left it and somehow it healed on its own i'm actually going to make um some sort of pepper soup later in the day um maybe i should even film my catfish pepper soup recipe i have different methods but i think i should just film my i should just film one so that you guys will see how i cook straight from my garden with ingredients from my garden Yeah, that's a good focus. So this is what eats up my plant in the morning. Well, and these things can eat up leaves in seconds. So now, so what I do is I always feed them to my fishes. So for this catfish, I want to use apple cider vinegar that I made myself, yes, from scratch, to wash it. I'm just going to soak it first of all in that apple cider vinegar because I don't have lime, I don't have ash, and apple cider is the next best thing for me to use to take out slime from my catfish. Let me show you guys. Okay, so this is the apple cider vinegar that I made from scratch. It still has the apples inside. This has been here for months. I've actually been using it. I've used, it was filled to this level. I've been using it to clean my fish. So I'm just going to take out some of it and then use it to wash my fish. That's it. Yeah. So all the fish waste, we are going to put it back into the fish tank so that the fishes can eat it. So for this purple soup, I'm going to be getting some purple basil, just a little purple basil. And then, of course, I'm also going to be getting my uncommon basil. And we are back to my utazi. Utazi has to go in my pepper soup. That's a must. It has to. So I am only going to be getting a few leaves of the utazi. Let's say about four leaves of the utazi. I don't know if I'm going to use all of that, but we just need four leaves. Scent leaf is definitely going in my pepper soup, guys. So I just like to use all the amazing herbs in my garden and not rely on and not have to um use just one type of leaf and the last ingredient that we need from the garden is leek yes guys i know you're going to be wondering ah, ah she's making pepper soup what is she doing with leek but i will show you exactly how i use leek in my pepper soup let's take this wow I'm using 
Ehuru. This is um, native nutmeg or local nutmeg or something. Or, okay, African nutmeg. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm using Ehuru for this recipe. This is salt she's adding. She is adding water. She is covering it. So I like that it is the water is a bit thick, it's not so watery, it's not so runny. So that's what I like about it. I like how thick that the liquid I like how thick the liquid is. Thank <laughs> you. 